morning and happy Easter. I obviously got back on trail this morning. Uh, this morning I was at the Mary Inn in Marion, Virginia. So it's a pretty clever name. I like that. Uh, there's a group of six hikers that I saw at the last place too at the base camp in the Grayson Highlands and then I saw them again last night in Marion and it's a fun little group and so this morning I went out to breakfast with them at a place called Massey's and we got a nice Easter breakfast. It was a cool place, very homey. There was like, it was like grandma was cooking us some some food in our house so that was really nice. Uh, these six people are actually ahead of me on trail uh, so I might catch back up with them today but I really liked I liked hanging out with that group, um, so that made me feel really good. So hopefully I see them later and hang out with them for a little bit. The plan today is 19.9 miles, and right now it's like super easy and flat, so we'll see how long this lasts. I just noticed this, but apparently I forgot to charge my phone last night. It's only at 40%, so I just switched it to airplane mode, and hopefully that helps. I still got to use it to vlog with and figure out a way back to Marion tonight, so we'll see how it goes. I'm used to using my phone a lot, honestly, but I'll just focus on the hiking. So I don't think I ever actually talked about this new sun shirt that I got. Uh, I got it in Damascus after I hiked in the sun for like two days and got totally burnt on my shoulders and my arms. I never really liked the idea of sun shirts because I think I have one from REI and I always thought it would be way too warm to hike in because uh, that one was a little bit thicker. But when I saw this one in the gear shop, it was just so thin and it's a bit like oversized. So it's like nice and loose. It doesn't feel like tight to my skin and it's just so breathable. So now I feel like I can hike in this even when it's really hot out and it's been super comfortable. I was thinking of getting rid of my black long sleeve after getting this, the one I have from Columbia because it's it's warm, it's very tight fitting, it's got like that omni heat technology that will yeah keep you warm. Uh, so that was nice to have when it was cold and it was like in the teens when I first started out but now I think like spring's here I don't think it will get below freezing very often and even if it does like I'm not getting rid of my fleece and my puffy jacket so I might get rid of that base layer I have some family coming out at the end of the month and I can start switching out my gear from winter to spring slash summer because I'm still carrying like my winter sleeping pad and there's a few pieces of gear that I think I can switch out and maybe lighten my backpack up a little bit. So love, love, love this new sun hoodie. I remember sitting on that wall right there right after I finished my first 30 mile day last time in the rain waiting for a taxi. <laughs> ah, the memories. That shelter that I just showed is called the Partnership Shelter and that one is special because you can order like food delivery uh, from, to that shelter because it's so close to the road. And then that was like a visitor center too that I just passed. There's no cell phone service right there, so if anyone's hiking the AT, a good tip would be to use the landline that's on the outside to call for a taxi or hostel or something, because that's what I had to do last time. Uh, but today I'm just hiking through. I've done 7.8 miles so far. I found this in the gear shop and I want to try it out. It's got caffeine in it, but it's also supposed to be hydrating. So we'll see how this does this afternoon.
So today's Easter. I said that this morning, but today is also one month on trail. So I started the AT at Amicalola on March 9th. Today is April 9th. So I'm just hiking and reflecting on the last month and the fact that I just hiked 541 miles. <laughs> so that's pretty crazy. I don't want to get caught up in like if I'm going faster or slower than my last through hike. I do ultimately want to do this a little faster. That's my goal. Um, but I'm not going to beat myself up if it doesn't happen. I just want to do my best. And if my best is faster, then that's exciting. But I think I am like two or three days ahead of where I was on trail last time. So, everything's going surprisingly well. <laughs> I'm walking under a power line that's making a loud sound right now and it's not very pleasant feeling. <laughs> it's always a little sketchy. Did you get into the hospital one? So this is the old schoolhouse. Isn't it cool? I passed a couple hikers this morning who said they were gonna sleep in here. So it's nice. There was a box of trail magic. I actually just saw, I forget her name, Bunny. Uh, she said she watches my videos and she was just filling it up. So I'm grabbing some gummies. I only have about like three, less than three miles. Uh, until the end of the day. So I'm gonna snack on these. Um, I'm actually going back to the Merry Inn tonight. It was so much fun. Everyone else that was staying there last night is also going back, so that very much influenced my decision. Uh, and they're all talking about going to an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet tonight. So I'm hopping in on the fun. <laughs> If my parents are watching this, they probably remember meeting me at this gas station for lunch on, I think it was their first visit. Now I'm already back at the hostel. It's 10 o'clock. Didn't really do much after I hiked today. I got picked up at 5.30 after hiking 19 miles. Went to an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet, and then Ingalls was in the same plaza, so I got my resupply, and then back to the hostel where I really just chilled. Um, I laid down for a while until I, I just recently got up and took a shower and put a load of laundry in. I think tomorrow I'm gonna get back to camping. Um, this has been a fun little stretch of hostels, but looking at the weather the next six, seven days, it's just like all sun, all great weather. So I'm going to spend a lot of time outdoors, get the miles in, get the camping in, and I'm really excited for this next week. Also, I definitely have to shout out someone on Instagram who just sent me the link because apparently Sierra Trading Post is selling Sockney Peregrine 12s for only $49. I used the 11s. I've also used the 13s and 
it's been my favorite through hiking shoe so far. Um, so I'm assuming the 12s are going to be great. So I just ordered two pairs, saved $100. Um, I shipped them to my house, but I should have family coming in a week or so, so they can bring me a new pair. I'd probably be around 600 and something miles in, and that's a good time to switch shoes. And then I could probably use the second pair by the time I get to New England. So that worked out really perfectly. <laughs> Good night, and I'll see you on trail tomorrow.